Hello everyone. In this demonstration, let's talk about Argos Client. Argos Client is a package that can be installed on a Linux operating system for improving the flow-based anomalous traffic detection. So let's see an example how we can improve the detection for a botnet using Argos Client and what's the difference that this package can or this tool can generate regarding to other tools. Now, the Wireshark Network Analyzer is a packet paste that captured the whole traffic on the network. Um, this has caused a large number of flows in the captured traffic and also caused a high processing load and high runtime in a machine learning. That's why we need a tool like Argos, uh, a flow-based tool that captures only the flow that is needed for the anomalous uh, activities happening on uh, the network so now um, Argus client is not only improving the detection rate and the runtime by regenerating enhanced uh, flow based data but it also has additional features that does not exist in other tools and I'll show you example and I will com compare between the CIC flow meter and the Argus client uh, and uh, we will take one example for a data set that is captured for a botnet attack uh, the data set is in, in a pcap uh, file format and then we can see the difference between these two tools so before we start the demonstration um, it is just to, ex uh, to clarify that uh, Argos uh, generating the flows uh, based on uh, communicating hosts and how they communicate to each other it's also using a values like time to live, uh, round uh, trip time, and one way delay used for uh, geolocation information. It's also using a database such as the internet database for country code and MaxMind database for the geolocation of the domains. Uh, also, uh, Argos uh, client has the, the functionality for a real time uh, traffic capturing like Wireshark. But, uh, but as I explained at the beginning, uh, it's a flow based instead of a packet base. Now I have here three uh, pcap files uh, for uh, a botnet uh, captured on the traffic. And uh, I need to convert this pcap into CSV using uh, Argos uh, client. So uh, the capture uh, file here is uh, a packet based. Uh, the Argos client will convert it into a flow based. Uh, and we can see also the number of the flows uh, will be reduced uh, when we convert it to CSV uh, using the Argos client. Okay, now this flow chart will demonstrate the methodology and what exactly I need uh, to do. Uh, at the beginning, I will install the Argos client and Argos server. These two packages are required. Then I can convert the BCAP into Argos uh, file. Uh, by that, I'm converting the packet based into a flow based. I'm regenerating a new uh, flows. Uh, I'm making the number of the flows uh, less in number. And uh, also, uh, I'm enhancing the detection for the anomalies and the malicious activities uh, on the network by this uh, new uh, regenerated uh, flows. Now, after I'm having uh, the Argos file, I can either specify a specific filters that is used in Argos, we can find in the manual uh, all the filters used in the Argos. Or uh, if I did not specify uh, the filter, the 11 uh, default one uh, will be selected. Now I can show the result or the flows uh, either on the same terminal emulator or I can write it on a new CSV file. Okay, let's uh, first uh, install the two packages. I can see I have already the latest version and now for the Argos server okay so now I can see here I have uh, the latest uh, version for the both uh, packages 
so now here for example i have a pcap file that is captured uh, using wireshark while assimilating a botnet uh, attack and i can see here the size of the file is 2 gp okay so let's now try to read this pcap file and convert it into argos file okay so now i need to define the path uh, of the folder and uh, the function uh, will be argos then dash r for read then i will type the file name dot the format pcap then dash w to write it then i'll give it a name file sample dot the format is argos so by that we are reading this file the pcap file and we are writing the new uh, file into the Argos format. Now you can see the new Argos uh, file, and you can see the difference in the the file size from 2 GP to 40 uh, megabyte. Okay, now to read uh, the Argos file. The function will be RA instead of Argos. RA means read Argos, then minus R to read, and then I will type the file name dot Argos. Now I will not uh, write uh, the flows in a new CSV file and I will not uh, specify any filter. I will keep the default 11 filters. So uh, let's see the flows on the same terminal emulator. Here can we see all the flows. Now again we will type the same uh, command but uh, on the CSV file instead of the terminal emulator and then I will show you how to specify a specific filter. So now the same command but this time I will uh, write the flows on a CSV file. So read argos dash r for read the file name dot argos and now I will type the simple greater than which means write it on file final I will call it and the CSV so now what we are doing in this case I will type the Argos file into I will write it in the new CSV file so now I can see the Argos file converted to CSV file uh, let's open the file and see the flows and uh, the 11 default uh, filters generated. I can see here the start time, the flags, the protocol, uh, the source address, the source port, the direction, destination address, and so on. Uh, but the issue is that all the filters are in one uh, column. To separate the filters in different columns, we can see from here data and text to columns we can uh, separate each uh, filter in a different column as we can see here and now we will find it's now it will take some time and now uh, we will find each filter in a different column so this is how we uh, fix uh, this issue and uh, now we can see we have um, all this uh, flows to add specific uh, filter we will add dash s with the previous uh, command and then the filter name if i want to see all the filters that uh, argos can offer the function ra read argos then dash h for help i can see here all the filters name so now the same previous uh, command then add dash s and uh, the filter name separated by comma I can see here in the terminal emulator the same flows but this time with the specified uh, filter. I can type the same flow also uh, on the CSV file by adding a greater than and the file uh, name dot uh, CSV format. There are some tools like uh, CIC flow meter that can convert the PCAP file into CSV. Uh, CIC flow meter has 84 default features and uh, is uh, generating bidirectional flows 
but the flows in the CIC flow meter is completely different than the Argos uh, client. Now this pivot table is for the three PCAP files converted into CSV and combined in one CSV. So now we can see here that the total flows in the Argos are less than total flows in the CIC flow meter. And we can see a different type of botnets labeled based on the malicious IP addresses. And we can notice also that the normal flow in the Argos are more than the normal flow in the CIC flow meter. Also for the different botnet types in the CIC flow meter, we can notice the percentage is more than the botnet types in the Argos. Okay, so the manual for the Argos functions can found on the official website. For uh, all the functions that Argos can offer, you can find it uh, in PDF files. Uh, I will uh, copy the link in the description and the comments as well. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.